right guys, let's get down to business. Here are some energy statistics. The U.S. had nearly doubled the energy consumption per capita than France in 2004. In 2004, the U.S. had much higher carbon dioxide emissions than in France. From 1990 to 2002, France had a significant decrease in ozone precursors. France was the leading producer of renewable energy in 2004. Global warming refers to the increase in the average temperature of the Earth's near surface air, as well as the temperatures of the ocean within the recent decade. And did you know that in the past century, the global temperature has increased by 1.33 degrees Fahrenheit? That's a lot. And it has also been reported by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate that the increased surface temperatures and decrease in atmosphere are due to the increasing greenhouse effect. You gotta stop that. Alright, so some problems that go along with global warming include the rise of the sea level. It could go up as much as 23 inches by the year 2100. Yes. In addition to that, there's been an increase in the intensity of extreme weather. Does that mean we could have another Katrina? Exactly. So that also means that there's going to be changes in the amount and patterns of precipitation, which can lead to drought or even flooding in the other extreme. What about the glaciers? Yeah, glaciers are melting, which could uh, play a part in the ocean levels and the species extinction. Like the polar bears. Exactly. We gotta save those polar bears. Let's get to work. Bring it. All right, guys, we've researched a little. We've gone out on the town and seen how the Parisians live and their lifestyle. And we've come up with three myths we have to bust. The first myth bikes. Paris has recently enacted a new bike system in their city. And we're going to try to bust or confirm why this, new bi why this new bike system was put into place. And we believe that this new bike system was put into place to reduce the individual CO2 emissions. So we're going to figure out whether that's true. The second myth we're going to try to bust or confirm is No, not houses. It's a metro. Don't, don't you see it, guys? Well, anyways, we're going to try to bust or confirm the myth that many Parisians take the metro to reduce their own CO2 emissions uh, compared to whether they take it because they just don't want to have a car in Paris. Um, the third thing is, you guys can get this one. Recycling. Recycling is correct. And we're going to try to research and bust and confirm the myth that many Parisians do recycle to reduce their own waste in the city. For the bikes, me and Amanda will take this one. Um, the Metro, Emily, and Amanda, can you double shift on this one? Yeah, I can do that. All right. Last but not least, Raise your hand if you haven't been picked yet. Mackenzie and Emily, this is, you're going to be on recycling. All right, we have one more thing to do. Hands in. Allez, vert! Here we are in the Paris metro station to bust or confirm the myth that people take the metro to reduce their carbon emissions. Here's some history about the public transportation in Paris. The public transportation is made up of the metro, the RER, buses, and night buses. Every day, over 9 million passengers take the public transportation in Paris, and the metro has over 200 kilometers of track with 370 stations. How many lines are there? There's 14 different lines for the metro and five different lines for the RER that go out to the suburbs that allow people to come into the city without having to take a car. All right, you ready to go through some interviews and find out what people think? Let's go. The metro? Yes. Yeah, why? Why? For quoi? For me? Yeah. Uh, to go uh, to my job. Your job? In fact, yes. Transportation and why you take the metro? Uh, it's uh, more uh, quickly. Quick? And uh, usually, 
Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, it's uh, for our money. Money. It's not expensive. Mm -hmm. Do you know about global warming? Yes, sure. What do you think about it? Well, um, I think it's better to take the metro than the, the car, no? So uh -huh. that's quite good. <laughs> I feel like um, in Paris uh, there is there is a lot to do for it. City of Bikes will soon become a city of bikes. The new bike program is one of his bids to help reach his target of reducing car traffic by 40% by 2020. Also, since he took office in 2001, he's added over 125 new bike paths. But still, only about 40,000 of the 2.5 million Parisians are regularly using bikes. Uh, the mayor would like to increase that number to about 250,000 by the end of the year. And I believe this new bike, bike program will be able to help with that. Alright, let's go do some interviews and find out what they think about it. Alright, let's go. What did you think about them bringing the bikes to Paris? A very, very good idea. Mm -hmm. It's a very good idea. Indeed, we must reduce the place of car in city, and as the cities are short distance, three kilometers maximum, bike is an ideal means of transport. Mm -hmm. It's the good solution for, for us because in Paris the traffic is so busy, and for if you want to make the, just the small course for the 10 minutes I go, I go in the Place de la Bastille, it's really good. And sometimes me, I live just in the Butchamont. It's not so far. Sometime I come on now. I think I will come with the, the second. Just because it's simple to use it, you see it, and uh, if <laughs> if you want to to try, it's easy, and uh, everybody know that it's here. While doing our bike interviews, Emily was out working on her public transportation research. Can you explain why you take public transportation and the metro? Because I have to, I can't afford to have a car here. And uh -huh. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I have to. You have to. Explain why you take the metro? Why? Because uh, I don't have my license. Uh, you have, we, have, we have to. So. You have to? Mm -hmm. um, would you own a car if you could? No. I own one but not here. Not here. And I would never use my car you here. You would never use <laughs> Do you know about global warming? And uh, Yes. What do you think about global warming and the environment? I think that um, it's hard to fight against it because sometimes you're forced to uh, have a car, or you're forced uh -huh. to take to to um, um, to um, yes to do some things. Yeah. After going out and interviewing people about the metro to see if they took it as a conscientious effort to reduce their own CO2 emissions or whether it was just part of their lifestyle and an easier way to get around the city, we found out that more people took the metro because they didn't have a car or their job gave them a metro pass. It was easier for them to get around the city because Paris is so big and busy. But at the same time, we did find that they all thought public transportation was good for the environment and that it did reduce their CO2 emissions, but they mainly took the metro for convenience because it was easier and efficient. So that's why we are busting the myth that the metro is taken by Parisians to reduce their own CO2 emissions. out new bikes in the city to cut down on smog. City Hall recently announced that the advertising firm JCD will be operating a new bike system in Paris. The whole idea behind this is that the bikes will be available for a 30 minute free period where you can check out a bike from any of the stations and have 30 free minutes to ride it to another station where you can 